what is going on guys it is a beautiful day i'm making some skirt steaks i know it's been a minute i'm sorry i started a new job um for those of you who's asking uh, yes i do have a normal job now but that'll be in a different video i'm sure it's an awesome job i do love it and you guys could actually come visit me if you really wanted to but anyway today today oh i'm gonna eat dinner and then after that i have to go pick up some frozen rat pinkies and i gotta feed some of the smaller snakes and let's see i gotta clean some stuff because yeah it's just it's been an awesome day it's been a couple days since i posted a video i'm sorry for that but it's gonna be a fun day and let's get to it all right guys i just got back from my rodent breeder i did pick up a bunch of frozen rat pinkies as you can see there now i do buy them in bulk because it is a hell of a lot easier buying rats in bulk versus buying them one at a time when you have a collection the size that I have. But I also picked up something else. Now he gave me these snakes because they are deformed and I'm gonna use them as feeders, so don't get upset. But I will be feeding these off to some of the cobras later on this week, so stay tuned for that video. Again, these snakes are not okay. Their mouths are messed up. I will explain all that in the video. Comment below, let me know what you think. I know I'm gonna get a lot of hate for this, but honestly, I don't care because it's gonna be cool and it's gonna be awesome enrichment for my two Cobras. So stay tuned later this week for that video. But let's defrost some stuff and go clean some stuff and then feed some stuff. So today, today's a cool day because today we're feeding two snakes you guys haven't seen in a while. And then a particular third one you guys haven't seen in a really long time. So really excited to show him to you guys again because he's doing awesome and I'm very happy to have this snake in my collection. But we'll do him last. Um, but today we're going to be feeding my black tail rattlesnake and also my albino western diamondback rattlesnake. Alright guys, so I'm filming this currently on the GoPro. I have my new camera set up right there. I'm going to be filming the feeding on that. Um, and I'm very sorry for the rattlesnake noise in the background. That is a new rattlesnake in the room. Super annoying. I know. I'm sorry. But let's jump into this footage so we can feed these snakes. Alright guys, so I am filming this at 50 frames per second. So hopefully the footage quality is better. And on top of that, I can slow this down for you guys. So let's see how this works, because I want you guys to enjoy this as much as I do. missed Look how beautiful that snake is that posture is perfect all right so he thinks he bit it so I'm going to lay that down right there
All right, guys. So now I'm feeding my beautiful blacktail rattlesnake. Now he gets a little bit bigger of a meal, just because he is a growing little boy. Actually, it's a girl, but it sounds all right. So we're gonna go ahead and get him fed. Get that head ready right there for him. Man, super fast. So awesome. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave that right there. And change my battery in my camera. Well, that kind of sucked. I wasn't expecting him to pull it behind his body, but that's the start and finish of these snakes eating. So awesome though. I know you guys enjoy watching it, so there you go. Now, I do have two more snakes to feed. I know I said I had one, but I forgot I had two more to feed that I'm also gonna do in this video. The next one's super exciting. It is not a rattlesnake. So hopefully you guys do enjoy it, and it is going to be my beautiful coral cobra. Now I do have her set up in this beautiful long cage here. She could actually live her entire life in this cage. I will add stuff eventually, but for right now that's all she needs because she's still kind of small. So I'm going to go get the rat for her, and we're going to feed her next. Now she is usually located right... not there. So, that very simply means she is under the ground somewhere. 
But the question of that is where? So I do need to find her in order to feed her. So I'm going to very simply, oh, I saw some ground move over here. And I see her tongue right there. So what I'm going to do is take that rat and stick it out right there. You look very carefully. Let's see if I get it in focus. She's right there, right in the middle of the screen. See your tongue move? That is the beautiful coral cobra. So I'm going to get this rat, pull it out. I'm going to put it right in front of her. Hopefully it's not too big. I don't think it is. Tongue is smelling it. Oh, oh, I touched her. She didn't like it. I need to get her out so she can see it because cobras are huge on sight. There she is. There she is. Oh, look at how beautiful this snake is. I absolutely love this snake. Let me go ahead and give her this nice big meal. Oh, she missed. Come on. Oh, she got it that time. Look at that. Look at that. Crazy. There's a nice, good sized meal for her. Look at the coloration on this snake, so amazing. Now again guys, coral cobra's not a true cobra. They don't hood up like other cobras do, but they are awesome, awesome snakes. I was so happy that my sister got me this beautiful snake for my birthday. Uh, she is working her way up to the head of that little rat pinky there. This is an awesome good sized meal for her. This should last her all week long. No, oh, you had it right the first time. You had the head. Such curious, awesome little snakes. Nope, that, that's the butt. That's, that's the butt. All right guys, so I do have one more snake to feed, but before I do, I do want to show you something really cool that Summer actually saved out of our pool today. And uh, I'm going to keep him to make sure he's okay for a couple days. This is this cute little guy? So it's a little three-stripe little mud turtle. Awesome little turtle. It's found here in Florida. I'm going to keep him just for a couple days to make sure he is okay after being in the pool because, like you guys know, pools contain chlorine so we're gonna keep him in our little home in our little nest for a little bit just to make sure he's okay and then release him in a couple days so there he is right there that little guy so he will be faster than the snapping turtles so I do not need to worry about them these guys avoid them in the wild as well the little slider is doing great he's chilling out right there 
So hopefully he'll be okay in a couple days, and uh, yeah, we will uh, release him back into the wild. So cool little turtle, thought I'd show him to you guys. Okay, all right, so like I said, I did have one more snake to show you guys to feed. Now, I have shown him on my channel before. It's been a little while, but I'm going to hand feed the snake because I've been working with the snake for quite a while now, and I have full confidence the snake will not bite me, but you never know. So do not try this at home, guys. As you guys know, all the snakes I work with are extremely dangerous. So I'm gonna give it a try, here we go. Oh, got it. Now guys, that is my gorgeous little Honduran milk snake. Not a venomous snake. Cool little guy that I got as a rescue. Um, really happy to have him in our collection. He's doing extremely, extremely well. Oh, oh. Beautiful, beautiful snake though. Love the coloration on this guy. There we go, he's starting to eat it already. Such an awesome, awesome snake. So I'm gonna let him finish that up. You guys have already seen two snakes eat tonight, so. Beautiful snakes, look at that. All right guys, that's it for tonight. It's been a very long day for me. I'm gonna go to bed, but I did upload some more photos to the website, so if you guys wanna check out some more photography that I did upload, I will post it in the description below. Now also, um, if there isn't anything you guys like on there yet, just wait, give me time, give me a couple weeks. I will be uploading more photos as time goes on. I'm just always busy, as you guys know. But subscribe if you aren't already, and I will see you guys next time. Also, smash that like button if that's what you like to do. Bye!